make a bold prediction for Caitlin Clark? Number Ooh. one overall pick. Like, are we talking rookie records? What are we talking? Um, yeah. I mean, I think just by the pure nature of her game, where she's a stat sheet stuffer, like any game she can walk away with the triple double. I'm not thinking she's gonna be she's gonna be averaging 30 points a game. I just don't think that's gonna be possible or realistic for her in her rookie season. It's, there's going to be an adjustment, the physicality, the speed, the athleticism. We've already seen it in the preseason. But flirting with a triple-double on a nightly basis, she can do that, um, whether that's 15 points a game, maybe seven rebounds, six assists, five assists. That's still a very solid line for, for Caitlin Clark. Now, if I was going to go bold, bold, um, I would say that she could mm -hmm. absolutely challenge for the scoring record this year. If she does get her threes going... She could be one of the leading scorers in the league when it's all said and done. I don't know how efficiently that will be done, but it's not out of the question with her offensive skill set. If I'm if I'm going, hey, this could this could happen. She could she could she could set the scoring record for this year and lead the league, the WNBA. I would love to know from your words, like how monumental her impact was on this sport. Okay, you can't even put it into words. I mean, what Candace Parker not only achieve but the way she transformed the WNBA was just something that we may never see again she's an icon um first of all on the court in the way that she changed the way we play the game at 6-4 she could play on the inside and, and post up she could also block shots but she could step out and shoot the three she was an excellent point forward in the fast break could get the ball out with the assists um, so now you have players like me at 6'4 that are trying to play on the perimeter. That wasn't the case back when I played <laughs> basketball. But she gave us a new vision of, of how that could happen because she was not the first to do it, but she was the best to do it in the women's game, in my opinion. And then look at what everything she did off the court. I mean, from being an athlete mom and raising Layla right before our eyes mm. in an extraordinary way, like she showed women that you could do both and have that balance. Um, you know, she, she put Adidas on the map when everyone else was was looking in other directions, and now she's the, the president of Adidas Women's Basketball. Um, but really, there was just so much pressure, so many eyes on Candace Parker after she came out of, of high school as a dunking sensation. And she carried the expectations for women's basketball on her, black, on her back. She grew the popularity of the game exponentially because in addition to everything else I named, she's char charismatic, she's funny, she's a great broadcaster. She has the best baby hair you have ever seen in your life. <laughs> I could do a whole tutorial on it. Oh. Uh, but you just, you can't say enough about what she accomplished and how she really helped to grow. I mean, the women's game wouldn't be where it is right now without Candace Parker. And even doing that as a black woman mm. is, as the was, was a tremendous feat. So tip of the cap to Candace. I mean, and more than a tip of a cap. That was an incredible, uh, just, yeah, incredibly earnest and honest and, and eloquent way to say, uh, that, you know, Candace Parker is goaded. Like, she is, you cannot write the history of the WNBA without her. No, she is her. She is absolutely <laughs> goaded, and um, what a fantastic career.